Hey, what's up guys? This is Steven from TechSteveHD.com, making technology easier. Now in today's video, I'm going to do an unboxing and setup on a Google's Home voice activated controller. So sit back and relax, and let's get started. Okay, let's start off with the unboxing. What we're gonna do is go ahead and cut this tape on the sides. And then go ahead and pull this off. Now while we got this off here, let's check out a couple of things here. So this is a voice activated speaker by Google. Here's some built in voice commands like OK Google, uh, set a timer for pizza, other things like be a DJ, you can play your uh, music from uh, your Google's uh, Gmail account. Know it all by asking questions just like you would a phone. And then you have things like uh, it actually has a built-in Chromecast adapter so you can send it right over to your uh, uh, TV if you have a Chromecast. It supports uh, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz frequencies. You have an easy setup application with your uh, cell phone and you can do multiple rooms so if you have a few different Chromecasts, you can actually use this to set up a lot of different those Chromecast uh, units. All right, so now we got the unit here. Let's unveil it. Let's see what we get. So you got this nice little hinge here. And there it is. So it's pretty nice. It's got a speaker around it. You have a mute for your, uh, for your voice activation. And when we power it up, I do believe there's a couple lights up here. But before we do that, let's see what else is in the box. So, just a little holder. And then here we have like some instruction books to tell you how to get it all set up. Some voice commands again. You can also buy different bases on the bottom here. Take that cloth off right here and put different ones on it. And then your limited warranty. Also in the box is you have a Google's uh, power brick. And this is not running off USB. You can see it has its own dedicated little in there. So uh, let's go and take a better look at the Google's uh, speaker. Now the speaker here is pretty nice again. Uh, you can see where you plug it in here at the bottom and then let's slide this bottom piece off so again you can buy these as extra accessories now the speaker itself you got one speaker looks like a passive and another passive so really you have two passive speakers and one live one on the back it has a USB uh, input from what I understand that's to update uh, different firmware or update uh, diagnostics and stuff like that so not much to it so let's go ahead and plug it in and see what we get so I'm plugging in now and let's see if it does anything special I noticed the orange light came on and let's see if any lights on the top comes out so they turned white and now I can see it initializing while it's doing that, let me go ahead and uh, show you how to download the app on your phone. Welcome to Google Home. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. Okay, now I have an iPhone here. You can also get this from the Android store. You want to go into your app store and then type in Google Home. And that's what the app looks like. Since I have it previously installed, go ahead and open. Hit the three lines, devices, and then Home should pop right there in the top. So hit uh, Setup, hit Continue, Now it is connected to your device. 
Test sound. Heard the sound. Which room? I'm gonna make this the living room. I don't want to send reports. Hit continue. Select Wi-Fi. My vi bad virus. I'm gonna go ahead and put in the password. So now I have the password in. Hit done. And what it's doing is adding the password to the software in the home adapter. Hit continue. And you see the lights come on. Okay, now there's Google Assistant. So let me go ahead and sign into my uh, TechSteve account. Now this can grab uh, personal information like your flight, your calendars, things like that. I'll go ahead and allow it this time. And then this is where it can use your phone or software to see where it's at. So you can make sure it customizes your search results with your uh, location. Now I have the location set. The next thing is, do you want to send your emails? I don't. Now here's where you can link in some of your services. Now if you, if you have Spotify, you actually have to have the paid version, which I do, but it can use the free version of Pandora. So let me go ahead and put in my information there. Now since I have these linked, I'm gonna hit, and then do you wanna go ahead and complete the update? Hi, I'm your Google Assistant. I'm here to help. To learn a few things you can do, continue in the Google Home app. Okay, continue. Okay, Google, how far away is the moon? The moon is 238,900 miles from Earth. Okay, let's go ahead and continue. Okay, Google, what can you do? Here are a couple of suggestions. You can say, what's my next meeting? or play CNN radio. To find out more, you can look at the full list of suggestions in the Google Home app. All right, and then hit finish tutorial. So there you go. So let me show you how you can customize it even more so. Hit the three dots, hit settings. Then let's say you click on more. Now this is where you can set up your home controllers. This is where you can add news. You can also customize it, how your day, it's going to use your Gmail account, it's going to tell you your weather, time to work, next meeting. Now since I didn't add a Chromecast earlier, I'm going to go ahead and add it now just to show you how it works. Now I selected it by touching it, hit back. Though you can make a Google shopping list with Keep. You can do services like uh, you can link your Uber transportation to it. And you can also restrict things like uh, YouTube. So let me do a voice command and see if it turns on my TV and select something on YouTube for me. Let's get it started. All right, guys, I'm going to see if I can get it to play something on YouTube completely hands-free. Okay, Google. Play the most current video on YouTube. I also need to know which device to use. Try saying that again and include the device's name. Okay, see, it needs my device. Okay, Google. Play YouTube on Steven's Chromecast. All right, playing recommended YouTube videos on Steven's Chromecast. So it connected automatically. So there's my video on the Google's Home Adapter. Now it actually works pretty good. I've tried a couple of different commands outside of uh, the video I showed you, but it works very well. And what this has over Echo at this particular time is that it can control the Chromecast adapter. Now see, watch my video on the Chromecast and you'll see how to set that up as well. For $35, you can get that going. Like all my videos before, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.